Hi Mankit and in this video we are going to learn how to add CK editor in Angular application. This is also known as a rich text editor. So let me show you the demo first. So see this is the demo I have created. Let me refresh it. So you this type of editor you might have seen in many websites in many applications. So this is we are going to learn today. So this is a rich text editor where we can type anything and uh, we can make it bold, italic, right? And we can insert the tables here, right? And we can also submit this. So let me just show you the example. And if you submit it, you will get the HTML type of data. Let me show you. So when you click on submit, so see we have this all data, name, email, and whatever the bio content. I named it as a bio content here, so you can see the whole HTML. So you can just you know store into a data database, and when you will fetch it and you will bind it uh, with the Angular HTML content, so it will display as an HTML. So this is very good actually. So let's start how we can learn. So you can go here in the. Uh, you can search CK Editor. Click on the CK Editor website here. And we are going to integrate this in Angular, so you will have to just find somewhere. Uh, let me show you. Click on documentation. Click on getting started. And here we have a list of frameworks here React, Angular, View, Laravel, etc. So we are going to use Angular, so click on Angular. So here we have a very nice explained documentation that how we can integrate it in our Angular application. So scroll down. So here we have to install this package, this one. Then we have to install this one, build classic. And you can read the documentation. Uh, this is not required actually. So in the app module, we have to add this module as a secret module. And in the TS file, app component, you have to create a variable here. And this is the selector that you have to use to show the secret editor. So let's try one by one. Let me show you the app module file here first. So this is your app module here. Here I already have forms, reactive forms module, HTTP client and all. You can ignore this and I have an Angular material here because I am using Angular material. This is also skippable. You can skip Angular material and you can use normal one. So let's add the package one by one. So just go up, uh, copy this one first. Okay, so this is added. Let's add the second one. Okay, this is also added. So now go to your app module file here and import a package called CK editor module. It will be imported from here. CK editor module and then go to your app component file here and okay and create a variable here. Just I will just copy because it's a very uh, explained already. So this is your variable, import this classic editor. Okay. Now go to your HTML, copy this line. And I already left the space here, so that bio content will go here. So I will just paste it here. And this is the same variable that we had in the app component, this editor. And this is the default value. We will also see how we can take it from the TS file and yeah, this is added I think so let me just run the application and let's see how it works and if you get any issue you can restart the server right you can restart the application like, like ng sub again and it should work so let me just launch the URL okay so we are getting this one hello world yeah, this is the default value that we are getting here and this submit button and all I already I, added here so let's see how we can submit the form so uh, let, okay so in your uh, are you you can ignore this one uh, angular material comp component you can use the normal uh, input elements so i like angular material so i'm using so here just add a uh, submit button and the submit here and i already created a function submit form and add a form group here Form group, uh, make it. Let's make it bio form. Okay, and you. These are the form control name I already have. Form control name, email, and make sure you have one more here. Form control name. 
I'll copy and paste. Bio content, let's say, and in define the same form group in your TS file. So let's add one more variable here public bio form form group. By default, should not be null. Okay, now let's define the, the form this dot bio form is equal to this dot form builder dot group. So I have a name email and bio content okay so our form is ready so let's print in the console the value of the form so this okay sorry console dot log this dot bio form dot value save on the file okay let's see so let me open the console as well so i will type get test.com and get okay so you can make it bold italic okay anything so i'm submitting it yeah so you can see right name email and the bio content with the as a html content you see the p tag i tag strong these are making bold and italic right okay so we will also let's see how to take the dynamic value and bind into the html so let me just tell you let's say uh public default value let's say that you have got this value from database or some api call and you want to bind this into your text editor you, i mean you already want to prefill that with the, some value so let's say p you have to just have some html content here on you can normally p okay so let me make it ankit as a bold okay so now you have to bind this value to your editor so how you can do that so you can bind that content with the ng model here type ng model and you can just paste that variable default value and save the files okay so you can see right this content is this c character is already filled with the value that we added in that typescript file and if you try to submit it you will see the same content in console as well right so this is so simple i think we have to just install and two npm packages from the documentation uh, import the c character module in the app dot module file and in, in, in your typescript file just define the editor variable then form you, you can skip the form as well you can just directly use this line right you don't need to declare a form but i have to submit it so that's why i created the form here right okay please like share and subscribe the channel and hope you enjoyed so let's see you in the next video thanks for watching